Tonight in Ypsilanti, a bizarre crime is under investigation. A young woman is dead, and the man she was with is accused of calling a taxi service to move her body. Fox 2's Taryn Asher live in Ypsilanti with more on this very unusual case. Taryn? Yes, and the relationship between that young woman and the man that she w she is with is still unclear tonight. Possibly she was with him last, but regardless, tonight you have a grieving mother wondering how someone could do something like this. I just, I just understood that that happened today, so I just can't even believe that that happened. Carrie Shaw Hillman already struggling with the fact that her 21 year old daughter Mira Dressel lost her battle with drug addiction and now just hours ago she learned the despicable lengths two people went to to get rid of her child's body. In the early morning hours last Saturday police say a man called BWB transportation for a ride. The driver responded to an address in Ypsilanti but when the customer came out he was carrying something suspicious wrapped in a sheet. He placed it in the back of the vehicle. They then drove to the 2700 block of Gulfside Drive. The female cab driver knew something wasn't right. She called her boss, this man, Derek Campbell. He showed up to the Gulfside address. Police say Campbell, the owner of BWB Transportation, had a conversation with the customer. But instead of intervening, he learned it was the body of a young woman and then helped the customer dump the body under a bush. That driver realized what was going on and immediately dialed 911. I'm glad that the driver was a good person and, and turned them in, and I really appreciate that. The cab driver isn't in trouble, but the customer and owner of BWB Transportation sure are. The company, which assures affordable transportation for people anywhere they need to go, is based here, apartment 18 of the Ypsilanti complex on Washtenaw. Derek Campbell wasn't home. He's still in jail after he was charged for conspiring and concealing the death of a person. But his brother was. <laughs> I get you wrong, Campbell. I'm sorry. Stanley Campbell talked to us by phone. He happens to own another transportation service called Ace Deuce out of the same apartment and reacted to his brother's alleged indiscretions in a very interesting way. No. For helping to move a dead body of a young woman who is 21 years old? I love you too. Yeah, really bizarre reaction there. Now, Derek Campbell still behind bars tonight. He still has an posted bond. Uh, we're told that that customer is expected to be charged with his crimes tomorrow. The official autopsy hasn't yet been released for Mira Dressel, but uh, police suspect a drug overdose, and so do family at this point. Apparently, the young woman was in a car accident about a year ago, has struggled ever since then with a drug addiction. She's tried to get help, but it did never, it never really worked out. So the family grieving tonight because she does leave leave behind a two-year-old son. We're live at Ypsilanti tonight. Taryn Asher, Fox 2 News, back to you. Now, Taryn, such a sad story. Any idea why this so-called customer would call a cab company to move a body? You know, we asked that question too, Huel, and all we know at this point from police is that the two people, that Mr. Campbell uh, and this customer did know each other somehow, that there was some sort of relationship between the two, and that may have been the reason why he made that phone call. Back to you. More to this story. Taryn, thank you.